guys what's going on my name is Lewis and God bless every single one of you today is May 10 2024 and welcome to the Grand Spin News channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and just looking at this title once again it's not looking good it says here Michigan has just prepared an emergency order to manage the bird FLU event all right so we're gonna see what's going on here guys and I did post a video yesterday I want to bring this up really quick you have the FDA warrant for potential bird you know what event that could take out one in four sleeping giant citizens all right so it seems like um, certain states declaring emergency all right so uh, we're gonna see what's going on here guys once again they sounding the alarm uh, let me just read this part really quick here and it says starting Wednesday May 8 a state emergency order would go into effect in Michigan to limit the spread of highly well you guys already know that bird thing all right so it started May 8 they declare a state of emergency. So altogether, I think it's nine states. And so far, I think Michigan is like the only one. All right, so are we going to see what's going on here, guys? If you can, please share this video. But uh, before I start, guys, I just want to give a quick update about the GoFundMe. I want to thank everybody so much for the prayers and the support. You guys already know we are planning on taking a week off and heading to Tennessee. My wife, uh, grandmother, uh, Dorothy, she lives in Tennessee, and we're going to go up there, and she's uh, she's going to come with us, and uh, she's going to live with us in the state of Florida. She was in uh, in and out the hospital and um, a few times, and she had the C19. You guys already know that's back in 2020, that thing that was going around, and uh, she beat it, and they sent her home, and then a few days later, she had to go back due to heart problems. Uh, but uh, again, uh, we are planning to uh, go up there and bring Dorothy uh, with us and also my mother-in-law, she's staying with uh, Dorothy. Uh, so uh, again, uh, they're going to come with us in the state of Florida and all the information will be in the GoFundMe. So everything is all written down and if you guys want to help and support, um, help Dorothy move down to Florida, all the links, all the information will be in the comments box and description box. All right, so thank you so much once again for the prayers. Thank you so much for the support. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Michigan. And it's, uh, it's just the tip of it. Now, a lot of people are saying, yeah, the reason why this is happening is because November. And you guys already know November is that main event. The election. You know what? I'm not going to say the full name, but... Guys, every time we see November event, there's always something going on. There's always something going on. You guys already know back in 2020, you had the uh, the black L-I-V-E-S. And you guys know the last words. Uh, they were doing their thing out in the street. At the same time, there was that C-19 going around. Well, we have seen something similar in 2024. Instead of BL, you know what, and Antifa. We are seeing the groups, the palace group, doing their thing, holding flyers, and they are taking over like encampments and this and that, bridges. Uh, so we are seeing a deja vu here. And now we are getting this information about the bird FLU. All right, so it says here, <clears throat> excuse me, it says here starting Wednesday, May 8, a state of emergency order would go into effect in Michigan to limit the spread of highly of the bird FLU. Now, follow me on this one here, guys. Um, I'm not going to be saying certain names, so just follow me on this one. But it is not impacting sleeping giant citizens yet. You have the HPAI impact on the state's economy. And its operation for supplying eggs and meat has taken a hit left unchecked. Now, the director of the Michigan Department of Agricultural and Rural Devel uh, Development warns that issues could only intensify. Hmm. 
like I said, guys, nine states is reporting this bird FLU. Michigan is the first one to declare a state of emergency, if I'm not mistaken. Michigan been in a unique position of dealing with a pretty significant uh, event, both in several fair herds here in the state, but several poultry operation as well. Some commercial egg laying facility, some turkey farms, said Director Tim. Normally, mid-spring issues that farmers manage are related to the weather, too much rain or cold night, freezing crops. But this year, it's the bird, F-L-U. You have some countries, especially I think in South America, uh, you have uh, a country there has completely stopped buying sleeping giant meat. All right, they're not buying no more sleeping giant food. And I do believe there's other countries out there that uh, said, hey, we're not buying stuff from you guys. Something's going on here, guys. Something definitely is going on here. And uh, you have Ron, uh, the governor of Florida. He put out a bill that Florida will no longer be selling certain meats. Put it like that. So we are seeing something here, guys. We are seeing uh, <clears throat> some kind of event and is being um, stored in your local supermarket. Walmart, Target, convenience store, Sam's Club, Costco. I mean, again, some of those meats. Mm -mm. So it says here, highly, I'm going to skip that name, uh, has been around the country for a couple of years now. But what makes this latest event significant is that it is now very uh, prevalent in dairy cattle across the Sleeping Giant. It's been around for many years, <clears throat> but all of a sudden, it seems like uh, as we are getting closer to November, it's time to uh, throw in the uh, emergency and this and that. So in Michigan, you have farmers are struggling as their operation are limited and animals suffer after getting impacted with the latest strain. The que uh, to quell the spread state official will execute an emergency order and deploy a what? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm not going to say that name. Uh, BIO security measures while tracking people on the site of vulnerable farms. So we continue to know that this thing is basically spreading through sleeping giant citizens and vehicle movements. So we called on poultry and dairy facility across the state to implement some essential security practices for the cleaning and disinfecting, tracking who is on the facility, identification of the BIO security manager. All right, so it will also impact what fair season looks like this summer in Michigan. We are looking to halt poultry exhibitions until we have had a negative test in the state for 30 days. And we are placing restrictions on bringing lactating uh, dairy cattle to the fair. He said, notably, the director said, it is not a public H-E-A-L-T-H problem yet. I like how to put the word at the end. Yet. It's not a problem yet. If it's not that big of a deal, then why you have a agency out there sounding the alarm? They're warning that this thing that could uh, take out one in four sleeping giant citizens. So if there's 333 million sleeping giant, uh, again, a population here, that means that 80 plus million could be out, according to the FD you know who. Now guys, I did post this video. Let me show you really quick. I did post that video. And it's very important you guys check out that video because uh, it, it has a lot of information. You wouldn't believe it. All right, so. This is the one right here. All right, I will share the link. It will be in my comments box. 
This is the one right here, just in. You need to hear this. All right, so this link will be in the comments box. That view should have gone up. Uh, again, this is a very important video here, guys. Again, it, very, a very important agency are saying that 80 plus million Sleeping Giant citizens could DIE. So again, this link right here, you need to hear this. Uh, again, that link will be in the comments box. Also, this one here is another breaking news. All right, so these two are very important. All right, basically, it's pestilence. I'm going to share these two right here in the comment box. You need to check them out, guys. I'm putting out very good videos. Very good videos. And, uh, yeah, we are seeing it. We are living it. We are witnessing Bible prophecy happening right in front of our faces. Now, I'm not going to share the uh, the other news. Again, I just, again, it's just repeating myself because I did make a video yesterday. And it was a long video. So, again, uh, the continuation will be in the comments box, that video. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, please be safe out there. Look, before you eat, pray. Pray. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ that that food is, he again, clean. All right, prayer is very powerful and very important, and it's very important to pray for every single one of us. So, again, guys, please share this video. Michigan declared emergency. Will the other states follow? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path, and that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.